Jets GM Joe Douglas said on Tuesday that Adam Gase is part of the solution. So my question to you is, which solution is that? Uh, that's that's a GM trying to not trying not to make a headline and accidentally making a headline anyway. I mean, look, the, the Jets are, are a disaster right now. They're not only winless, but they are completely uncompetitive. You know, they, they've lost every game but one by two possessions. Their offense has scored more than 17 points uh, once this season. They have, or their, their offense right now ranks, which is run by Adam Gase. Their offense ranks last in, in total yards and points per game and offensive efficiency. I mean, this team is dismal. And, and it, barring divine intervention, and maybe that might not even do it, Adam Gase is not returning to this team in 2021. But Joe Douglas, who's friends with Gase, realizes that Gase is a big reason why he received that six-year contract to be this team's general manager. He didn't want to throw his friend under the bus, so he threw, a he threw a, uh, an arm around his shoulder instead. <laughs> yeah, you wrote a great article about judging Douglas by his work this offseason mm -hmm. and not by these words. You're welcome. Uh, now, Matt, you had the honor to play for both of these organizations in your heyday. What did you make of those comments and Douglas taking some of the heat off of Gase? I mean, I know this isn't a message that my New England audience wants to hear, but I do have a soft spot for New York. I spent some years there. You know, as, as Connor sort of brings up, I think the likelihood that, that Gaze is here a year from now is incredibly low. And because you do have some people there that you want to pull tight, you've got a, a, a tremendous left tackle. You've got a, a quarterback that, you know, you just don't know. He may actually be an excellent player. He hasn't been mentored well there. So I would be a little worried from sort of that perspective about damaging a lot of the players that are in that room that are going to be a part of this in 2021 21 and 22 and moving forward and the gay situation is just sort of a the, the real muck right now unfortunately of the nfl it's it's number 32 uh, by a long shot